car again. It's been spent my whole life in the car. Um, and I'm at a different time. And it's really interesting. So this week, uh, I have shown up, as the term goes, every day, but just not the same day. Oh, sorry, that's some sort of camera thing banging down. And um, this is what consistency is all about. It doesn't have to be perfect. So the perfect me would have been really cross that I hadn't turned up at 8 a.m. every day because that's the day we normally do. That's the time we do. That's what everyone's expecting. You know, and people are going, oh, where are you? It's not 8 o'clock. It's, you know, it's now 9 o'clock or whatever. Morning, Pip. Morning, Jodes. And that's perfectionism. Okay, when it has to be perfect, exactly the same time, exactly the same day, or it's not being done at all. Instead, this week I've done an 8 a.m., I've done a 6 p.m., I've done another 8 a.m., and today's a 9 a.m. So it has certainly hasn't been perfect. And part of that is that my routine currently is really out of whack because uh, I'm not doing clinical work for the month, my husband's on holidays, um, my kids are working all over the place, I had to drive one somewhere this morning, all of those things, all the things that mean that there is no routine. But just because there's no routine doesn't mean I still can't do it. It just might look a little different. So this is the idea of just being a little open. When we get rigid in our routines or rigid in our perfectionism, then that's when we fall into that all or nothing mentality that, again, it's not our fault. We've been encouraged to do that for diet mentality. You know, you're either on a diet or you've broken your diet or you've cheated, all of those phrases. When in fact, if it, it may not be perfect, but as long as it's consistent. Now, in other breaking news, as you know, this week I had been a little less consistent, veering off to one side of my road, veering back this week. Certainly feel much, much better. Uh, my ketones have been brilliant. Woohoo. Um, my nuts have been banished. And banished in a good way. I don't feel deprived at all. I feel relieved, like I have broken free of the nut stronghold. And the interesting thing, right, is this is the idea that your thoughts create your feelings, which create your actions. So my action is that I don't want to eat nuts. My thought at the moment is a relief because, sorry, my feeling is relief because my thought is oh, I've broken free of the nut stronghold. I could just as easily have a different feeling. I could feel deprived and ripped off. And the way that that thought would cause that is my thought could be, God, I can't believe I can't even have nuts. I don't eat any sugar. I don't eat any other shit. The only thing I look forward to in my life is nuts. And now I can't have them. And what does that create? Deprivation, restriction, resentment. And what do they all do? We know those feelings. You rely on willpower then to override them to stop your action but in but that's not possible permanently so the idea is think always about your thoughts what could I do to change them so I'm super happy to have broken free of my nut stronghold uh, I don't even care about them okay last week I was eating four or five handfuls a day. Poor, not helpful. And thank you, Susan. I did go to the hairdresser yesterday. I haven't brushed it this morning. I've been up, uh, well, as I said, early to take um, slightly ungrateful 17-year-old to work. God. Anyway, side issue. Um, so, my lovelies, have a think about that. If you've got something that you would really not, you'd rather not be doing, might be, you know, eating spoonfuls of peanut butter. That's been another one of my little things I've done from time to time. Think about your thoughts because that's what creates your feelings. Your thoughts create your feelings and we have the ability as incredible humans to change our thoughts. It's not, e it's not easy. It requires maintenance. <laughs> Jodes, I know that you actually mean my nuts are gone, not your bits. <laughs> Uh, aren't we funny? Um, but yes, my lovelies, that's what I would be saying for you. Think about a way, if you want to let something go that is unhelpful, let it go. It's not restriction. Restriction is all about your thoughts. Restriction is all about your thoughts. So um, let your bits go and have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, lovelies.